Zara here. I'm here with a bit of a late video. Um, this came in, I think, two days ago. But, honestly, the last two weeks I've been back to work, I've been constantly working. And anything that has gone wrong, did go wrong. Well, anything that could go wrong did. That's what I meant. Either way, let's get started with this, baby. It's so bad, I'm drinking. Cat, no. Ooh, they sent more of these, which I will get into in a second. But first, we have a Dwarf King on throw. Ah. Oh. Uh. You do me so proud, Dungeon Crate. I love dwarves. If I could ever do D and D again with friends, a dwarf would definitely be what I'd be doing. So, I am much appreciate this. Um, I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna leave it in here for the moment because you can see everything down below that I have to put together. And while I can easily edit out the process, I, I'm not up for it right now. Um. Ooh! Monster markers! That's neat. That's also new. Okay, this I love, by the way. I do want to wear when I go to work. Is an enamel pin set with D20 dice. That is awesome! Um, yes. I'd probably go with the blue. I like the blue one better. Um, also, we have a keychain from Dungeon Crate, the Keyed Wood Adventure. I'm, I'm very hesitant to put this on with my keys because every time I've had, I think I've said this in previous videos of, with other things, but keychains don't work well for me. I tend to rip everything at, when I'm at work somehow, so I will not do it. Um... Let's get everything off. What is this? Looks like it's a uh, promo. Um, like for Reaper Live. Um, I don't mind promoting half of this stuff. I probably shouldn't have ripped that, but I don't think you'll care. It's not part of. And. There's that. Coming soon, Pizza Dungeon Dice. From ReaperMini.com. Uh, Reaper Bones Black, coming spring 2019. Let's see. I mean, I don't mind promoting some of this stuff. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. I'm not remote, I'm very small on YouTube still, but that's my fault more than anything. Um, high detail, rigid material, improved pigmentation, reduced semen shift lines. Pretty cool. And then you have ReaperCon. From August 29th through September 1st at the Denton Convention Center. And... Denton, Texas. Now, ironically, that is about four or four and a half hours away from me. But the problem is, in August, I got lucky with the days I already took off for Anime Fest. I'm not going to succeed getting multiple days off. I'm sorry. If it wasn't for that, I would definitely go, but I can recommend some friends. Yeah, pretty much, you're just... I'm gonna stop with that. I don't mind promoting. Um... And all that. But, that actually did take up a decent amount of space in this. We do got two character cards. Uh, the Phoenix Initiative... 
Yep. And Victor Von Horning in this one, which I know for a fact are part of the adventure. Which I did say for last for a reason. I don't feel like the adventures get much love, in my opinion. Of course, I don't watch everyone's unboxings, but... Okay, making sure. We have Rescue the Dead, Pathfinder version, level 3 by James Roadhaver. And then you have a fifth version edition, also by James Roadhaver, level 3. Now, I want to say that there's stuff on both sides because of a comment from a few months ago. I do read comments. Um, I do reply when I'm able to, and I do appreciate all feedback I get. I should not put that in here, I need to read that. Um, I appreciate any sort of feedback, you know, it, it helps a lot more than people tend to realize. And I hope I do quality content on recording, I don't edit very much, I kind of leave everything raw in this video. Like most of my videos, I don't really edit much unless I have to. Because before, I was always having issues with sound or whatnot. I've actually fixed that. Look how my figures aren't showing. There we go. And Bruce on top, you can see all my empty alcohol bottles. From Game of Thrones. But now let's read this. So three metallic, or I said metallic, metal slash enamel D20 pins from 1980 Who? who once again created some sweet wearables for our members. These three pins are metal and enamel, offering RPG style to anything you attach them to. DC Adventure Rescue the Dead by James Roadhaver. Rumors have emerged that Anders von Horning died mysteriously in the midst of a project called the Phoenix Initiative. The nature of the pro project is a mystery. The wild speculation abounds after adventurers encounter a strange and dangerous automaton on the road outside Baleen, claiming to be Anders von Horning himself. His surviving family would love to reclaim this construct and determine if it really does hold some vestige to their, of their late kin, but they'll have to wrest it from the clutches of a reclusive necromancer first. Now it does say something else here which I will also read out. James did a fantastic job on this trilogy, and we couldn't be happier. He is a true master of adventure. To see more of James, you can check out Dungeons and Things every Friday at 6 p.m. Yeah, I'm, I'm 6 p.m. I'm guessing uh, Pacific time. On Twitch at twitch.tv slash thatdragonshow. They have a set of three monster marker tokens. These tokens are perfect keeping track of multiple foes on the table. Simply place the model on the token, and when they're defeated, take off the model and remove the ring. Let the remaining skull be a reminder of your epic battle. Set of two, the DC Crate Card Monster Cards Monster Edition. I can, uh, I'm off. Uh, use these handy crate cards with the included adventure, or as player aids to your own campaign. These are made with a glossy finish and can be used with wet or dry erase markers. This miniature throne only looks huge because there's a dwarf king on it. It's insanely fun to paint and put on a table. This mini features amazing details from the majestic beard down to the finely carved runes. Now I really wish I didn't shave so I would have a beard. And I will go into detail in a different video why I shaved. Anyway. Now to figure out what they say, the Dwarf King on Throne is from Reaper Miniatures and sculpted by Jason, I cannot, I'm, I'm going to say the name wrong, I'm not going to pronounce it, I'm going to spell it out, W-I-E-B-E, -E. yeah, and now for the, dungeon, the Dragon Key Ring, the Green Dragon is a cunning and tricky beast. Truly evil and not something to be messed with. They're known far and wide for their aggressive behavior and drive for power and wealth. A worthy foe indeed. Take your key to adventure wherever your travels take you. I hope I said that in a nice, awesome, adventuring way. I'm slowly trying to get used to doing that in these crates. 
<sighs> and that's actually it for this box. Um, my favorite. Well, I'll read. I'll be reading through the adventure, but my favorite. I have to say this time for me is that dwarf uh, miniature from Reaper. Because I love dwarves in any shape. I played a dwarf paladin in WoW um, for a long time. And I t any game I play that involves uh, MMOs, if there's a dwarf, I usually go for the dwarf. Always. Anyway, that's it. I hope you've liked this video. Like, comment, maybe subscribe, and always please give me feedback on these videos. If there is anything you'd like me to up upload or like for any of unboxing, anything. Minus Loot Crate. I won't do Loot Crate. Sorry. If I choose to do that, I'll do it on my own terms on that. Eh, it's not worth the money. However, that's all I've got for the moment. I do have a couple of backlogged videos I need to deal with. One of them is actually from behind me is a G Fuel flavor. So that's next. Anyway, Desire here. Have yourselves a great night, shall we?